I'm back at you again, and this is the top plays of week two. And let's get right into it. This is either going to be a punt block or a return, clearly. Great punt, or a snap, and then I'll, let's see the punt. It looks like a decent punt. And he outkicks the coverage completely. Yeah, he outkicked the coverage, This isn't good. Look at this guy slow up. That guy overruns. Uh-oh. Block in the back, not called. That dude completely blocked him in the back. So this was always going to be a big play. There was a block in the back, uncalled. All right, let's look at this. Play action. Where's my D end? What, what is 52 doing? Look at this guy. All right, you get blocked. You got to fight off of this block and get outside. D end. No man's land. But that's on the 52. 52 is supposed to fight outside and get there. Instead, he allows a touchdown. Let's get to the next play. They do a run left. Stuffed. But he breaks through. Oh my goodness. What is that? How bad is this? Look at this. Dead to rights. Nope. Whiff. 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 So five whiffs. And then out of bounds. How about that? They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Gino floats it up. He's got a guy wide open in the corner. I don't know what he was doing on that. The corner just completely just gave that up. And the kick is off. And he... Fair catch. He might drop it. Yep, he did that on purpose, guys, right through his effing hands. Watch this. Caught it and then throws it down. Hopefully we get a closer look at this because I want you guys to see that this guy completely let go of this ball on purpose. Oh, they're not going to show it again. Oh, well. All right, next game. Mac Jones steps up, floats it. Wide open guy. Look at the corner jogging. Corner's jogging, looking for the ball instead of just sprinting to beat the receiver to the spot. That's awful. Uh-oh. Kickoffs are never good. Well, they're good, but we'll see. Who's it going to be good for? That's the question. So he goes up the middle. and Look at how terrible these guys are going upfield. It looks like an offensive-defensive play. Everyone's all bunched together. There are no lane assignments. Look at that. And then the punter slash kicker. Was that the kicker? Can't tell. I don't know, actually, I can't. No, the kicker's right there. All right. Justin Love. I know his name's Jordan, but he hasn't earned the name Jordan yet. So we're going to call him Justin until he proves himself. This is just throwing it up and just your receiver going to get it. <clears throat> the corner never turned around, never had a chance. Look at the corner. This guy never had a chance. He never looks back, lets the guy catch it, and hugs him. He says, I missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. Hugs the guy. All right, back to the Pats. He rolls left, throws it late, guys. Guys, I saw this guy running in. Look, watch this guy right now. I don't know if you can see him. Yep, you can see him. So watch this guy. He's driving the entire time, and Mac Jones still throws it. Well, it's not Mac Jones. It's their backup. Look at him, he's driving. He's already driving on the ball. He saw that coming. He baited the throw. The quarterback never saw him. He never sees him coming, and he just took it. He was running up the whole time. All he had to do was look at the defense and survey for a second. He would have seen that guy driving and would have never thrown that. Then he whiffs. Look at this. Whiff? But loses his helmet somehow on a whiff. Zappy. Zappe. Zappi Zappe threw a pick six. You should know you can't throw out patterns late in the NFL. You should have known that in college. 
high school even. It's funny that none of the DNs are crashing inside on any of these plays. They're all rushing upfield. Pick, how about that? The receiver falls down. Look at this. Receiver falls down. If I'm the quarterback, I am heated right now. I'm completely heated. Guys on the ground. Tripped on the 33-yard line. The DB almost dropped it. It was almost like, oh my god, I got the ball. Alright. Fires it right. Wide open. Look at the DBs not even running to get there. Look at 30 and 40. Does it look like they're really trying to get there? Or does it look like they're trying to be in an area and it'll look like they're there to allow the touchdown? Yeah, we'll go with the latter. All right, now they go four wide, wide open running back. You got to get rid of the ball. What is the quarterback doing? Throw it now. Just throw it. You can't hold the ball there. He knows that. He knows better than that. But the NFL is fake. So he sack fumbles, loses the ball in the end zone, gives up six points. Why would you do that? If you're going to give up a touchdown, you might as well throw the ball. You might as well throw the ball. I don't get these quarterbacks. And what is the coach doing? Why would you call a drop back pass in the back of your end zone? There's just so many things wrong with that. You got to run out and give space at least. You can't just do that. Oh, my gosh. Talking to Aaron Rodgers as his team plays. They do a QB keep. Where's the DN on this, guys? Let's watch the DN crash inside. DN and outside backer, they both crash inside and play someone else's responsibility. So this guy and this guy, they're supposed to get outside contained. This guy gets quarterback. This guy gets pitch. Corner gets pitch. Safety gets the uh, running back. Or excuse me, quarterback, excuse me. So here we go. So 25 goes for the dive, which is not his responsibility. 25's responsibility is quarterback. So 25 should have been going right to the quarterback. And then the DN scrapes and then goes to quarterback. So that's completely misplayed. 25 tackles the guy that doesn't have the ball when he should have been tackling this guy. Now that this guy might be off to the races. He actually got in. Number 19, that quarterback runs it all the way in. Number 10, doesn't even step up. They could have sacked him if they wanted to. Wide open. Look at 43 and this other guy. Bro, they should have easily been able to play this ball. This ball is hanging in the air in between the both of them. They're not really trying to get there, guys. 43 and it's number 6. Look at them. There's no conviction. They're jogging. They're not trying to stop this. Like, come on, guys. Like, you, They didn't try. Like, How can you even argue on that? You didn't try to get there. So if he caught the ball, it's on you. Look at this guy floating it up. So he does the same thing. Floats it up. Floats it up. And let's see what happens. Of course the receiver comes down with it. That was scripted. Number six gets mossed. I don't even know why number six is out there. He made the terrible play before, and then now he gets mossed by a much bigger guy. That guy has like a head length on him, it looks like. Number 12? Who is number 12? He's going to be a problem, I think. Who is this guy? Collins? I think Collins could be a problem. He's a big body guy. He might be able to play this year. The Texans might have found something there. So they punt it up. Almost out kicks the coverage. This guy just dives at nothing. Look at 41. Bad play after bad play. Like, what is that? Go right at him. If the guy blocks you in the back, it comes back. Fumbles it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. First of all, all my ball carriers, what is he doing wrong here? What is, the, what is number 16 doing wrong here, guys? Yeah, that's correct. He's supposed to switch this ball into the left hand. All right, so he can protect it and use this shoulder to hit them. So now these these guys all got eyes on the ball, unprotected. He's swaying it left and right, and that's what happens. You lose the ball, and you give up a touchdown.
All right, new game. So they hike it. Josh Allen surveys, 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 steps in, backs out, twirls, fires. Wide open, of course. Why wouldn't he be? Who's that, Gabriel? Yep. A continuation from last year. How he was open is beyond me. Look at this. What is the corner doing? Why are you already going for the tackle? Like, go play the ball, man. Be aggressive. Stay on your feet. I don't get that. So many DBs are just so scared to play properly. The DNs rush properly. But the D-tackle moved over to vacate the throw. I don't know what this quarterback's doing. The throw to make is here. That's the only throw you go. It's either there. You either pump fake here and then throw there. Or you pump fake there and then throw there. That's the only throw. Or you can do it on the other side down below. Because it's the same route combinations. But th this throw is the one throw you shouldn't make. This throw is not there. You're throwing in double coverage. It's going to get tipped up and that's what happens. Like guys just do whatever they want. Number 28 just got outran. I was going to say, that's a running back. You can't get outran. Takes forever. All right, so no one comes up. Look at this guy. Absorbs the hit. That guy gets spun around. Is the kicker going to make the tackle? Nope. Number seven's last hope. He better cut back on him. He does not. He should have cut back on him. He had him because the whole... The guy was facing the sideline, shoulders facing the sideline. That's when you cut back because they can't turn or do anything. Whoops. All right. He steps in, floats it, takes forever to get there. The DB should have been able to make a play on this, guys. This is just the DB staying close and letting him catch it. Because, come on, guys, that's an easy... First of all... This, you shouldn't be letting this guy get behind you, first of all. And second of all, he's looking at the ball, so I know he can make a play on it. He's not trying to, though. Look, he half-hasses. He half-hasses and goes for the ball. I bet you if his life was on the line or they said your job is on the line, he's going to make that play. If they said to him in that, instant, in that instance, if you don't make a play on this ball, you're gone or you're dead. He's making that play, guys. Look at this DN not come up field. I, he was probably told to do so, actually. The way he's playing that. He dropped back. He's in no man's land now. He went to no man's land to hit the quarterback, but the guy's wide open anyway. Get in. He didn't get in, though. He didn't, I don't think he got in. But look at this. Where are the DBs? What's the corner doing? Like, what is this guy doing? Besides a whole lot of nothing. All right. Floats another one wide open. The DB got back. The DB literally got back in phase. He was out of phase. Right now he's out of phase. And then now he got back in phase somehow. He recovered. He should have been able to rip this out of his hand, guys. Like the DB has hands right there. He should be fighting and ripping that out. Instead, he just runs by him and pushes him down. Like, I can't believe, I would cut him just based on that play. If I was the coach, he'd be gone just because of the effort. Like, why aren't you trying to rip that out? You just gave up on the play. Mahomes is not phased by the pressure at all and throws a dot. He literally was not phased at all by that pressure. Like, at all. All right, now they do a shotgun. Quick route. He throws anything. I like that. That was a nice throw. Corner didn't have a chance. Problem is, 88's a big body. So you could call pass interference, but he's just bigger than him. He doesn't extend the arms fully. He did extend a little bit, but not enough for the ref to call it. So they get the touchdown. I don't know, man. You can call that a pass interference or let it go either way. Either way, I would understand
floats it up. Nice little catch. All right, let's check this play. Let's check the DNs. DNs, the left one crashed inside. Oh, they did a twist. They did a twist. And the DN gets there. No, he doesn't. Mahomes throws an awkward pass while being chased and makes it happen. Is anyone surprised by this? The only people that are surprised are the people that saw the playoff game last year where he just wouldn't throw the ball. But somehow the NFL is real. But Mahomes isn't throwing the ball when guys are open. Sure. Wide open. Still open. Still open. Still open. Still open. Still open. And takes the sack. I think he was seeing ghosts on that play. Wide open. He threw it to the guy I said. Nice. That's what you do. And that's why Carson Wentz is going to have a big year. Yes, he makes some dumb boneheaded plays, but then he makes plays like that where you're just like, all right, what can I do? You got to just tip your hat. There's just some guys you just got to let them play, man. Let them cook. He's going to make a mistake, but he's going to do more harm, more well than harm. Hitch is open. Oh, he had, yep. I saw the hitch and I saw him too. He's open too. Look at him. Beat him. Decent throw. Let's see if it gets there. It's hanging up. The safety, honestly, the safety should have gotten there. Look at his safety. What type of an angle is this? He's running this way when he should be running this way to make a play on the ball. So if he runs this way, guys, he can help. He's running the opposite direction. Some of these safeties don't know what they're doing. Like, I really question a lot of these guys' acumen. Like, what is up with your acumen, your football acumen? You don't know what you're doing out here. Oh, my God. Let's watch. No man's land. Take yourself out of the play. So crash inside. Takes himself out of the play, and so does he. And that's a clip, actually. This guy pushed him in his back, and they just refuse to call it. Oh, yeah, this is their rookie, Willis, who might end up being the starter at some point because Ryan Tannehill is untrustable. You can't trust him. So the DN on the right side looks like he crashes inside. Yep, crashes inside. Allows the throw to the outside. 24 stiff arm in the end zone. Close. It's going to be close. They called it a TD. D Look at the DN on the right side. Crashing inside. Oh, he dropped back. And then they replaced. Alright. That's actually decent. But they don't get there at all. Willis can take off. But he wants to prove he's a pocket guy and gets the touchdown. What is this? What is this? What's it? Alright. Alright, so it's not Tua because he's throwing righty. He's going for this guy. Floats it. It's kind of a bad ball. That was a bad ball, but somehow it got there. He floated it up too long. Should have been like right here more. More zip on it. But it's the preseason, so a lot of these passes are going to get complete, completed. I just saw Mohamed Sanu Jr. That's why I started. I was like, whoa, what? I didn't know he was on their team. What are the DNs doing? The left one is crashing inside. That wasn't even a twist. That was him just doing his own thing. Fires it inside. Linebackers just aren't athletic enough to get there. But they can't tackle, though. But they can't. One, two, three, four, five guys can't tackle. Like, really? So all five of you. Five of you couldn't take this guy down. It takes seven guys to take down one guy. Back to Miami. They do a play action. Wide open in the middle if you throw it right there. Oh, that's open too. 
So this is a nice little misdirection play action. Mike Daniels, nice play call. At this point, he's showing too much, though. This is a play that I would save for the regular season. Like, I don't want people seeing that play. Because that's, that's a play you call and get a touchdown. Now people are going to be scouting this play. I would have never shown anyone this play. It's a good play to call. Literally, I would have never shown anyone that. Like, why? I would be vanilla as hell. Like, why are you showing anybody any good plays? They, somebody messed up there. They, two guys are in the same area. I think the running back was supposed to go right. Because you, you would not want that to happen. Somebody messed up. Throws it up. Look at the DB. Like, what's up with these defensive backs? He's looking at the ball. Number 25 or 35, whatever this guy is. He has eyes on the ball. And you would think he can make a play on it. And then he stumbles... And then takes his eyes off the ball and turns away. Now he has no idea where the ball is. Guy catches it. All because he turned his head away. He was in perfect position and took himself out of position. This is what they teach the defensive backs to do in the NFL. They teach them to stay near the receiver and not make the play. Because in college, they made those plays. But in the NFL, it's about offense. They want the guys to catch the ball. So they tell these DBs, let them catch the ball if it's a difficult pass. Only make the obvious plays, but if it's difficult, let them catch it. That's how they're, t they're coached. And you can see it. It's evident. Look at this. Another kickoff where no one's in their lane assignments. Looks like an offensive play again. So this guy's off to the races, obviously. I think this guy had a couple, right? Play action. Wide open, screen, follow these guys behind and you'll be all right. And he does exactly what he's supposed to do. Get the first, he gets it, and more. Get in the end zone, get in, get in, get in. He got him. That is a good running back right there. He has good vision, good patience, timing, strength, speed, acceleration, agility. He has it all. Like number five needs to be there. Like you can tell, if he went outside, if he didn't do... What he did there, if he did anything else, I'd say he's not made for this. He's not made for the NFL at all. If he did anything else but what he did, he's made for this. Nice move there, the backup stutter, juke to the right, our left. And then he did it again. This is to the crib, I think. Yeah, so this guy, number two, is going to have a roster spot. This is his second one. So this guy is going to help the Cowboys a lot, guys, because they're not going to be scoring a lot. But he's going to help them on special teams with field position and touchdowns. But don't forget, though, a lot of these are against third, fourth, fifth stringers. So we'll have to see how he does against the first stringers. But if he can do this against first stringers, guys, this could help Dallas be a better team. I don't know if they'll be playoff bound or anything, but they can do a few things. Look at this guy ripping out of a shirt, running away. The conviction, man, it's real. I like it, I feel it, and I want it. And he stays in bounds. Go figure. He stays in bounds and cuts back on him. And then falls. How about that? The boy Dobbs is going to be a monster if he gets a chance. He's been in the league for four years now. The only way he's going to play is someone goes down. Honestly, if we're being honest, that's just the way the NFL is. They pick their guys. All right, so this, this is just safeties and corners not doing their job. Like, what are, they, what are we doing here? But everyone gets burned. It's a two-man route. So it just doesn't make sense how two men are running deep routes, and he gets behind both of them. I wish I could see what happened. I wish I could see the behind view so I can see what happened. I can't even tell you guys. All it looks like is a guy streaking by two guys that should have been there. That's all that looked like. But what do I know? I'm just a guy, like I always say. Is this another return for a touchdown? Looks like Giovanni Bernard. Does he get the corner? And he does. He got the corner. Can he burn this guy? I would put on the brakes. He got hit, yeah. Mr. Little Giovanni Bernard Impersonator. Alright, so now... They rush four. They rush properly. 
Lamar. Is that Lamar? Oh, no, that's his backup. Nice throw. I saw that guy, too. That's a beautiful read. On the throw, on the run. Nice move. He falls. Ah, uh, he could have scored if he didn't fall. But, yeah, if Lamar goes down, they have a guy that can play a little bit. But either way... The Ravens aren't going in the playoffs. They're not making the playoffs this year. They just don't have what it takes. They don't have the pieces. They're in a tougher division. The conference is tough. That AFC West is going to really do some things. Yeah, we're almost done here. DNs rush properly-ish. But what was this? Puts a move on him and cuts in front of his face. That's all that was. Linebacker can't do anything about that. He just juked him and he fell for it and went inside on him. That's all it was. It's tough for linebackers to cover receivers, which is why you want to match up. You don't want too many linebackers out there. If you have receivers, you want to get some DBs out there. This was a nice back shoulder. Look at this. The DB didn't have a chance. Even if, like, even if he was looking at the ball. Because of the placement and the size and shielding, there is no way he's getting there by any means. Right, let's watch a couple more plays. Alright. He had the guy white there. He had the tight end, but he also has this guy. Look at the DB, man. The DB should be batting this down. He's right there, like, bat the ball down. It can't be that hard to hit the ball. But I guess when you got the magnets and the velocity changes, there's nothing you can do, right? Who's this, Ritter? Is this Ritter? And they got him. He fumbled, but I think he was down. All right, boys, that's the highlights for uh, week two. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.